Om Sai Ram, Vanakkam, Welcome to Grandma's Class. In this video, we are going to do the exercises given on page number 70 to 73 of Unit 3 Prose. Sir Isaac Newton, the ingenious scientist from 8th Standard English, Samachir Kalvi. We have already done the lesson in four parts along with grammar exercise and prose exercise. You can find links for all the six in our description box. Your first exercise is about prefix. A prefix is an affix which is placed before the root word. Adding it to the beginning of one word changes into another word. Uh, prefix is a repetition. A root word a letter or a group of letters is added. Munadi serkum burde or pudu varta van the undagde and the serka padre pagdia van the number prefix in Solomon. Kilam will example Kutrika paranga re prefix root word van the right. Other end of serum bodu re right. Abdingre at the new word number kadeke. The very second one paranga prefix is bi root word is cycle. So rendai serkum burde bicycle. A new word is found there. The same way. Third root word is expected, the prefix is un, so you get unexpected. Next tabular column paranga. Now the prefix kanya kurtrikade, prefix kana meaning um kurtrikade, apra the use pane example words um kurtrikranga. Pa the enna grada pakla. Re, re means again, trimba trimba serade. Example is rewrite, trimba ridano. Un, un means not, ilian artho, unkind. So not kind, abding rada number unkind and solro. Add the word when the pre, pre means before, pre reading. Dis, im, non. Ella me, not in the meaning. Respect, disrespect, possible, impossible, sense, nonsense. Next one is miss, which means wrong, misbehave. Next one is an exercise. Underline the prefix in each word in the boxes. So in the box, words, Prefix on the underline panasolir kanga. So, Mulukahanga pirichi eridirkro. So, the plus kumuna dirka word elame prefix ta. Unlock, un is a prefix. Rewrite le, re prefix. Dislike, dis is prefix. Unsafe, un plus safe. Remix, again re. Relocate, re. Distrust, dis. Untrue, un plus true. Unhook. Again, un is the prefix, unlucky, un is the prefix, disown, dis is the prefix, disclose. Again, this is the prefix. Very easy exercise, you can do it very easily. Next one is suffix. Like prefix, here we add a word or group of word to the end of the word to make a new word. So, a word ikku pinnala or elithiyo illa pala elithukaliyo sekkiradan moolam or pudu vaarthaiya undaakkiradu inda pudu vaartha meaning la maatram peralam illati grammatical function layum maatram peralam so idha tha namba suffix nu solrom keela ungal kuduthirukka inda box la parunga root word is happy suffix is ness which means happiness color f u l colorful friend s h i p friendship so new words are happiness colorful and friendship Again, some more examples are given to you. Fat plus ER, fatter. Drive plus ING, driving. Change plus ABLE, changeable. Use plus LESS, useless. Beauty plus full, beautiful. I got sinner spelling change. Y is removed by I. Next one, lie. Again, there's a spelling change, lying. So these are suffixes. Already we have done a separate video on prefix and suffix. The link is given in the description box. You may go through that for better understanding. Next exercise B. Pick a suitable prefix and suffix from the given box and complete the following words. So some uh, prefix suffixes are given in the box. The first word is dash call. It is recall. Dash category, subcategory. Dash proper, improper. Equal we add suffix so equally construct we add suffix it makes it as construction comfort comfortable understand misunderstand success successful color tricolor new newly next topic on your vocabulary is syllabification syllabification is the act 
or process or method of forming or dividing words into syllables. So, vartegala vandu sinna sinna da pirikkirada da syllabification. It is splitting of words according to the syllables or unit of sounds or vowel sound. So, sound ikku sattanthu ikku eetha maadhiri andu vartegala vandu pirichi eludhirada da namba syllabification sallurudhu. It has six types. They are monosyllabic. Monosyllabic means single syllable. அதாவது பிரிக்க முடியாத சில வார்த்தைகள் ஒரே வார்த்தை ஒரே சத்தத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடியது செகண்ட் ஒன் இஸ் டை சிலபிக் ஆர் பை சிலபிக் விச் மீன்ஸ் இட் ஹேஸ் டூ சிலபல்ஸ் த சேம் வே தேர்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ட்ரை சிலபிக் த்ரீ சிலபிள் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஃபோர்த் ஒன் இஸ் டெட்ரா சிலபிக் விச் மீன்ஸ் ஃபோர் சிலபிள் வேர்ட்ஸ் நம்பர் ஃபிஃப்த் ஒன் இஸ் பென்டா சிலபிக் விச் மீன்ஸ் ஃபைவ் சிலபிள் வேர்ட்ஸ் லாஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் பாலி சிலபிக் ஆர் மல்டி சிலபிக் விச் ஹேஸ் மோர் தேன் சிக்ஸ் or more than 6 the process of dividing words into smaller parts or syllables is called syllabification so in the words avand syllables a pirichu eludhirada da namba syllabification nu solrom so in the aaru vagayana syllabification ku konja examples unga textbook la kuduthirukku you can go through that so monosyllabic words words having only one syllable single syllable words inga kuduthirukku paarenga act cat book head see all tongue plot steel wish one school break rhythm make life ball bat inda ella vaarthigalume namba endha kaaranatha konna pirikka mudiyadhu single syllable dhaan adanal idha vandu monosyllabic word appdi solranga next one paarenga disyllabic or bisyllabic words adhaavadhu rendu syllable ah pirikka koodiyadhu again a gain again rubber r u b b e r rubber B side, in stead, D lay, W man, per pers, program. So in the madri, di syllabic words. Renda pirika kudia, vartikal. Add to the paringa, tri syllabic words. In the words alame, muna pirika kudia, moon syllables irka kudia vartikal, and a tri syllabic words in solo. First one, beautiful. I'm going to tell you about the B A U T I F U L. Beautiful. Next one, two more row. Po, pu, la. In, ten, shen. So, in the word, you can see the words that you can see. You can see the examples of the words. That is the tetrasyllabic words. Tetrasyllabic words are the four syllables. Usually, you, ish, a, li. Usually. That is military. Me, li, te, re. In, ten. tell li gent intelligent e ko no me economy in he re ted inherited so in the madri four syllables words number tetrasyllabic words nu solluva next one is pentasyllabic words penta means five words having only five syllables now look at the first one examination it is splitted as e x a m i n a t i o n examination the same way communication c o m or unit m u second syllable n i third syllable c a fourth syllable t i o n fifth syllable the same way imagination i or syllable e ma g ne shan then qualification qua li fi ke shan so in the madri ungalku five syllable words vandu koduthirukranga Next one is polysyllabic words. Words having six or more syllables. So, R is the same as 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 polysyllabic words. First word is authoritarian. A, A, U, O, T, H, O, T, R, T, R, N. Authoritarian. Next word is inferiority. In i n f e r i o r i t y in fi ri o ri t inferiority next word is personification per san e fi k shan personification six or more than six syllable words are here in this list now let's do the exercise given in your text syllabify the following words you are given 10 words so how to syllabify that first word is education it is tetrasyllabic word with four syllables 
ed u k shan education e d u c a t i o n education then second one is school it is single syllable word monosyllabic word third and fourth both are bisyllabic word college c o l l e g e call lege ink lesh fifth one is opportunity it is five syllable word pentasyllabic word op po tu ni ti opportunity then sixth word is single syllable word that is monosyllabic word friend teacher is bisyllabic word simultaneously polysyllabic word it has six syllables the next one is laboratory it is five syllables so it is pentasyllabic word beneficiary it is also six syllable word so it is called polysyllabic word hope you have understood this exercise it is beneficial to you thank you for watching like share and subscribe to our grandma's class thank you om sai ram